Utilizing the triple threat in 2K24 is probably one of the most underutilized things you can do. Because honestly, I get it. After one jab, you're getting a timeout called on you in the wreck. But we're not letting that stop us, and it's time to show them you're surgical with it. So with that, I'm going to go over how to utilize the triple threat to consistently get open shots and score in NBA 2K24. I'm Chris from Sports Gamers Online, and alright, let's get it. The triple threat is dope because it naturally slows the game down for you while giving you the ability to, as you know, shoot, pass, or most importantly, dribble without worrying about getting the ball stolen until you feel it's time to start dribbling, which is a big advantage you have. Now, before we get into it, two overarching ideas you want to have while using the triple threat is combining it with a pick and roll as often as you can and knowing just by the very nature of finally putting the ball on the ground and committing to a drive out of it it's gonna naturally open yourself up to quick counters when you finally commit to putting the ball on the ground. Because the defense is like finally and focuses on whatever you're doing. The first move I wanna go over is the side jab. A good number of people when they hear or visualize the triple threat, they think of the jab with Kobe or Melo and just do that and end up shooting a heavy contest yelling Kobe? Well, you don't want to jab just to jab. Ideally, this is used to get the defender to back off of you in fear of you driving right by them with the face. And in 2K terms, it will be used mainly against users, especially if the lane looks like you might drive is when the jab is at its best. Once they see the fake, it's in their head, you might drive and they back up a little. And to do it, you just flick the right stick to the right. Again, since you only want to use this against humans, stay away from this move against the computer and especially if they're playing press on you, which other moves will serve you better. Now the best uses again are when the lane is actually open so the fake is better or combining it with something for the defender to react to, like a pick and roll, which then works against users and computers equally. If they're on ball, they're already on edge as soon as the guy comes over, so this gives them that extra push to commit to the screen or keep them honest if you fake away from it. And against the computer, they're not gonna move without you moving so the jab can get you a head start around it. Another way to utilize this that I like to do is pulling off a side jab immediately after the catch. This and a lot of moves I'll be going over will also attack guys who like to click on immediately after you catch the ball. And with the jab step, we're gonna use it then immediately go the other way with the left stick. The boost you get even with the bigs can be overlooked. And if your opponent likes to switch on that split second it takes them to react afterwards is all it takes to get by them. Next up we're going to go over the large jab, which largely has the same effect the side jab has, but gives you a more leaning animation that lets you launch forward out of it. And you do so by flicking the right stick up and to the right on your controller. Again, this is another move that you can use immediately after catching the ball, but this time put your player facing forward immediately. So one wrong move by the defender and you're off to the races. Next, we got the mid step over, which has the player create space by putting his other foot in front of his pivot against the defender. And to do so, you flick the right stick directly up on your controller. This move can test the waters on if your user defender is not moving against your step over. It can give you the green light to drive out of it if they're not moving. And of course, combined with a fake towards the pick and roll can make anything even more dangerous. This in particular is a good move to set up a spin the opposite way. Because even if they don't believe you're going the way you're pointing, that split second you're taking their attention away from it is less time for them to react the other way. And the spin, you simply swing the right stick from the side you're pointing to around the bottom to your opposite side. You will find the spin move is an excellent move to pull off out of the triple threat and the step over dresses it up a bit. So imagine combining this with a pick and roll the way you're facing with the ability to spin back the other way. Woo, man. Next, we got the full step over, which you pull off by flicking the right stick directly to the left or up and to the left. This is different from the mid step over as he stays in his animation longer, giving you more time to read the defense. Of course, like I mentioned earlier, utilizing it with a pick and roll just makes everything better. The quick lunge of Curry, I didn't even fully play out the animation, can get the on-ball defender off balance. Just like the late reaction with Lillard's defender. And of course combining it with a spin move taking advantage of players staying in this animation longer. And just swinging your right stick from the left around the bottom to the right to pull off the spin. 
Now, probably one of my favorite triple threat moves in the game is the back to the basket step over, which has your player literally turn around from the defender. That by doing so gives you a nice quick two-way go for the ball handler. And to do it, you move the right stick down and to the left. What's funky about this is you're able to drive the opposite way that you turn fairly quickly. And it catches user defenders constantly off guard when I do it. And like the step over, because he turns around for a good bit, it gives you plenty of time to check on the defense, who they're controlling, and how they're playing you. And combined with a pick and roll and giving you the option to go either way, it's nice. You can use the screen, go opposite of it, or utilize a spin move and go opposite. Next up, we got a move that's used off the dribble, but this time you can transition into it from the triple threat, and it's the hesitation escape. This move is dangerous because you're immediately moving laterally, which can create separation from your defender just off that fact alone, while also being a nice crossover setup if they overcommit to your sudden movement. And to do it, you hold the right trigger button on your controller and move the right stick to the left or right on your controller. Next up, we got the hesitation, which you pull off by holding the right trigger button and then move the right stick directly up. This move isn't as useful as the Hezzy Escape, but it can also get you into a crossover counter the other way if the user defender overcommits to you putting the ball on the floor. Now we got the step back, which is a move you want to utilize to create space against defenders all in your face and give you room to shoot or drive right by. And if it's a user, there's a good chance they overcorrect to your step back and make it easier to drive by them. And to do so, you hold the right trigger button and move the right stick down. Again, this clears space for your shooters to attack the newfound space however you see fit. You're able to use this against both humans and computers. Against pressure, utilizing the step back to begin your dribble is a safe way to protect the ball. Next up, we got the spin out, which is a powerful move if the defender is playing you close due to how fast it can activate and get you to the rim and a nasty move to pull off immediately after catching the ball. And to do so, you swing the right stick clockwise. So from your right around the bottom to your left against users, this should be one of your go to moves. Even when you know it's coming, if the player can shoot, you almost have no shot one on one. And lastly, we got the cross spin out, which is the worst of the two because of the fake one way before performing the spin move, but it's still dangerous in its own right. And to perform this, you swing the right stick counterclockwise, so from your left around the bottom to your right. Now you don't have to use just one move each possession. You can get creative and combine them joints. Mixing the smooth step over with a jab back to a step over, then a spin move, ooh boy. So, alright, sports gamers, hope this video was able to help you out. And if not, what's your favorite triple threat move that you like to pull off in NBA 2K24? Let us know in the comments down below. And stay tuned here at Sports Gamers Online for more NBA 2K24 content. And once you're with us, hit that bell icon at the bottom so you don't miss anything we put out. Alright, people, I'm Chris. Thank you all for watching, and be good, y'all.